Hi there, it's Lori and I'm here with a classroom story. For any of you teachers out there, you know it's professional development season. And I have this district training story that is just extra special. So this district person was coming around and teaching like how do you help students who are you know on track basically to drop out or fail out of high school so this is a quote the district person said you can't just send kids to the learning lab and say unf them you need to find ways to unf them Yeah. So I think there might be better ways to say that, like help them not fail, but unf them when you're dealing with high schoolers. Yeah. Anyway, I thought you might all enjoy that story. And it's funny how out of touch sometimes the district's people can be with how even high school teachers think and when they hear that, how they can't concentrate on anything but the fact that you just said unf them. Anyway, I am here to share my mystery yarn. I haven't done any mystery yarn, um, actual regular mystery yarn challenges um, for armchair chef Lori for a bit because I've just had a lot going on. So I finished some whips that had to get finished the dragon is done hooray hooray <laughs> in time for my brother-in-law my daughter's getting married in a couple weeks and he will be out here for that and so i will be able to give him his his dang dragon it's cute as heck but i don't know i just had such a hard time finishing it anyway so i got this bag ready but i have not looked inside it's from justine um she lives actually fairly close by um, and so here we go. Oh, lots of yarn. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that color is one of, it's kind of, I want to call that chartreuse. Let's see what it's, it says Dijon, Dijon. And that is such a nice color. It's kind of a, a dark yellow. It's like a dark mustard. It, it's, it's correctly named. Dijon is actually the perfect name. And I love yarn be yarn. It's so soft. And that's one. Oops, dang it, I love sage color. Oops. This is big twist, the thing pulled off a little. Uh, let's see what it's actually named. Yep, it's named sage. I love sage colored yarn, love it. Um, so I will find, and those go nicely together. Um, I'm thinking about making my grandson uh, this particular sweater and these might fit, this might be the project. Those two together already, I think they would look really nice. We got some white. Uh, this feels like Karen Simp Caron Simply Soft. And it's it's nice. I It's very soft, as you can see. The funny thing with the reason I think it's Caron Simply Soft is, first of all, the feel, but also, like, it's, it's kind of thin. I have tiny little hands. But it's deemed a four-weight. Whereas like this, see, we'll compare these. This is a four weight and this is a four weight. And look at how much thinner that Caron Simply Soft is. It's like half the size. Anyway, but I like working with Caron Simply Soft. Um, it, it glides really nicely. It's very silky, very nice color um, too, because it would go with everything. Oh, there's some goodies. Some little goodies. Oh, tea. I always come in on the tea because I love tea. Oh, and some stitch markers. Always can use some stitch markers. This, actually, I've been living on this tea. Thank you, thank you. Ginger peach turmeric. The reason I've been living on this tea is it's really good for um, inflammation. And I have a lot of inflammation in my knees because of um, osteoarthritis. So I love ginger peach Turmeric, it's great, wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I love the flavor of this one. It's so good. Lemon ginger is very nice. And then 
the raspberry leaf tea uh, is actually a funny story I have about that. I actually love <laughs> raspberry leaf tea. However, back when I had my kids, the advice was, hmm, have some raspberry leaf tea to help with your um, morning sickness. So when my daughter was having morning sickness, I said, well, why don't you have some raspberry leaf tea? And she goes, mom, no, that can cause contractions. And you can't have that until you're in the, you know, the last three weeks of pregnancy. It can bring on labor. Yeah. So the things they know in nearly 30 years, I cannot believe my oldest daughter is 28. Anyway. Yeah. So I didn't know. And what's mm, extra interesting about that is I had preterm cr contractions with both my kids, especially my second. So this right here might've been the culprit. Um, but I love the flavor of it so much and I'm not pregnant and I'm not going to be pregnant ever again. So <laughs> I can have this all I want. Anyway, <laughs> just a funny commentary on that tea. Um, we got another, Ooh, that's, those are great autumn colors. I will probably have to make a pumpkin out of that, some kind of pumpkin, but it also goes nicely with these colors goes really nicely and one more oh more more of the Kiron simply soft so this I've got to figure out how I'm going to use that with all those colors but I'll figure something out maybe I'll do a little amakurumi that has all four we'll figure it out but I think those other colors are gonna be my grandson's my brand new grandson's um, sweater uh, and then a note from Justine can't wait to see what you make um, and some little candies and stitch workers like I said but yes one of my one of my teas that I have try to have almost every day, single day so thank you anyway that's that's the yarn um, I will take a picture too but can we see that colors really well yeah so, yeah, I'll figure something out with that white to put it all together. Um, kind of looked gray, but it's it's sage. It's very much a sage color. Um, sage is one of my daughter that's getting married. One of her um, colors. It's light. Uh, I was gonna say lilac. It's actually more like lilac, but lavender and sage are her wedding colors. Oh, I'm so sorry. My Alexa is talking. So. <laughs> Sorry, I hope that didn't come through. Anyway, um, uh, freaking Alexa. I know. <laughs> She's just doing her job. But nonetheless. So that's everything. I'm very excited. Um, I'll send a picture up. Oh, I'll show you this. I'm working on a blanket. I've been working on it for a bit. You've all seen it or I've shown it. I'm much, much, much further along than I was. This is the bookcase blanket. So I'm just about halfway through. I think I have one more row. Is that right? I'll look. This is my little cheat sheet. Yeah, I've got one more row and then I'm at the top. So that will be, it's not quite as big as I thought. So I think I'm going to have to put some kind of border on it. But it's super cute with the bookcase and the cactus, um, succulent, whatever. Um, but that's it. It's a little bit taller than it is wide. Sorry, those are all my bobbins. Um, the color changing in this has been killing me. But I'm getting it done. And I'm almost, oh, the bobbins just fell off of its clip. Um, I'm getting close to where the... Once I get this next row, all the rows will be shorter. So that's a really important point. And I'm just, I'm loving the way the colors are coming out. It's, it looks like books, right? I hope. I love the color for this. This was a basic stitch ember. And 
I think it just has such a nice terracotta color to it. Anyway, that is where I'm at on that, and I will attach that pattern. But um, that's that's where we're at. And one of my bobbins came off. These are a lifesaver, like because then I can just put put them where they need to go. And like I said, it just popped off of its clip because I use the the little clips from. Uh, these little pink clips from Dollar Tree. Um, they didn't have any today. I, I'm finding I'm actually out, out and I'm having to use other types of paper clips. I've used these paper clips. They're not great for the purpose, but it's what I've got. So you gotta go with what you got. It's probably why it popped off. Anyway, um, so there's that and my gorgeous yarn. And maybe I'll, maybe I'll do white on the cuffs and the neckline. Maybe that's what I'll do. But I definitely am going to make my grandson a sweater with this. I'll probably aim for six months. He was born in February. So what is that? February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Eh, yeah, August, September. So maybe even six to nine months. Um, so it's more wintry. Um, but it uh, the sweater I'm wanting to make has kind of a knitted look uh and so i'm gonna give that a shot it's not knitted i don't know how to knit i do use the knitting loom which might something might happen with that because there's a knitting loom sheep that i think is super cute so that might be what i use this white for but i'll figure out something on the sweater that like maybe i'll put little stripes on the wrists or just something i'll I'll come up with something, but I love it. Thank you, Justine. Wait, is that right? Justine. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, I appreciate it. And thank you all for hanging out and I'll hopefully see you sooner rather than later. Now that I'm fully recovered, I am eating regular food. Theoretically, I'm still being really careful because I just started back with real food. The, the first day when I had some ground turkey chili, um, it kind of felt like a rock in my stomach and like, I don't even eat maybe, maybe that much, um, because of the, the hiatal hernia, uh, procedure they did. Um, it actually shrinks your stomach a little bit because they take part of your stomach and wrap it around your esophagus. Probably TMI. Sorry about that. <laughs> but, um, but I am recovering really well and it doesn't look like, I mean, if I have scars, it's not going to be any worse than scar, a scar I have from childhood. I don't even know if you can see that on the camera. Let's see. Oh yeah. See that little scar? I bet that's how they're going to look. There's five incisions, uh, four incisions. And then one was the drainage port, but yeah, they're all about, about as long as that little scar there, that one right there. So yes, my, sorry about my nails being a mess. I was trying out different nail polishes to figure out what purple I want <laughs> for the wedding. <laughs> But anyway, um, as you can tell, I haven't been on here in a while because I'm just rambling. So uh, thank you, Armchair Chef Lori, for hosting the Mystery Yarn Challenge. It's always amazing. And um, so this is Mystery Yarn Challenge 424. Uh, and thank you, Justine. I love, I love the colors. It's going to be great. Thank you so much. See you all later.